guys, I am Sheetal and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. Any enterprise succeeds only when it has the support and guidance of a good managing team. Most recently, we have seen the pattern that many brilliant startup ideas fail to show the impact, whereas some other identical ideas flourished in successful business enterprises. That is primarily because of the differences in the managing team or you can say the management between the failed and the successful one. Those with the good managing team beat the others in the virus competition. India is currently in the state of economic development complemented with a wide availability of manpower. We need trained professionals who know how to manage the finances, human resources, marketing, foreign trades and information technology etc. Not only that, we also need professionals for managing the operations, accounts and technical segments etc. This requirement of qualified and trained management professional opens a wide range of career options in the field of management. Having this in mind, we thought of making this video so that we could let you know about various options or specializations in the field of management, what are the various modes of getting that specialization, how can you get admission to various reputed management courses, what are the career prospects and pay packages in the field of management and much more. Now let us start with the type of qualification that are available in the field of management. In India, we can go for BBA or BMS at the UG level, whereas at the PG level, we have the options to do postgraduate program in management or postgraduate diploma in management, which is better known as PGDM and considered equivalent to the master's degree or can opt for master's degree in management or opt for various certificate course offered by many reputed institutes. Many working professionals opt for the executive management program to handle both professional and educational life. Executive fellow program in management is a course that can be pursued after master's degree in management or equivalent. Now you would like to know the eligibility conditions to join the management field. As far as the required eligibility conditions are concerned, the PGDM or MBA demands at least a bachelor's degree in any stream. The additional requirements like minimum percentage of marks, work experience or maximum age etc. depends upon the course specialization you are selecting and the management institute you are looking to join. As some institutes like IIM Indore even offer a 5-year diploma course just after the intermediate. Next question that can come to your mind is that how you can join management courses. Demand is high, so is the competition to join is also tough. So you need to crack some really competitive entrance tests to get admission in some of the reputed management colleges. Some of the management entrance exam that you can try to attempt are Common Admission Test, that is CAT, taken for admission to the IIMs. Xavier Aptitude Test, that is XAT, taken for admission to XLRIs and some other institutes. CMAT, AIMA, MAT, NMAT and SNAP are some other well-reputed management entrance exam that can help you get admission in some of the best management institutes of India. Besides Indian Institute of Management and Xavier Labour Research Institute like FMS Delhi, BHU Varansi, MDI Gurgaon and University Business School, Punjab University, Chandigarh etc. You can watch our exclusive videos on all the management entrance exams already uploaded on Target Study YouTube channel. Now the million dollar question and that question is what are the various career options or career prospects in the field of management? As we all know that management as a career has a wide range of prospects. Basically, every enterprise needs managerial position in virtually all of its major departments for its smooth functioning. So you can choose any of the available specializations as per your interest, abilities, motives and goals. Let me let you know about some of the important specialization so that you could have some insight of those and select one for yourself. And the first in line is business management. Business management, as the name suggests, focuses on the management of business enterprises. Along with the technical skills, you need to have analytical skills, good communication skills and above all ability to work in extreme conditions. An MBA degree in business management or PGDM is required to venture into this field. 
The salary structure after doing Masters in Business Management is pretty handsome. Besides, you get the much needed global exposure. Next specialization is Finance or Financial Management. An organization functions smoothly solely because of its finances. With Financial Management, this target is achieved. After the LPG policy was rolled over in India, more and more MNCs came. With that came the greater need for financial management experts. As a professional in this field, you need to handle the finances, plan the expenditure, look out for better investment opportunities and achieve the financial goals of your organization. You can enter the field of financial management by getting an MBA degree or PGDM with financial management as specialization. And as far as salary packages of financial experts are concerned, they expect to get anything between 10 lakh to 12 lakh to start with if they have taken their degree from some reputed institute. Next in line is sales and marketing management. You must have noticed that all brands put their advertisements on various platforms to attract customers. This is done by their sales and marketing team. As an expert in this domain, you will be required to come up with novel ways to attract more customers, reach a vast majority of the population, oversee the sales figures and so on. You need to have strong marketing skills, communication skills and ability to work under extreme pressure. The pressure to reach the sales target can get daunting sometimes, but this field is expanding fast and so are the opportunities. More the pressure, more is the output and extraordinary pay packages and salaries. Next specialization that you can think of is human resource management. This involves recruitment, training and appraisal of the employees for a company. Every company runs on a team of skilled professionals. Human resource executives need to interview the candidates, select the deserving ones and then induct them into the company. They are also entrusted with the responsibility of their constant skill enhancement programs. Accounting management is the other important and in-demand option in the field of management. All the major organizations need an accounting department. The accounting management experts deal with planning, implementation and control of programs related to accounts of the company. They also need to analyze data over the period of time and suggest profitable measures. Candidates can expect to get 8 lakh to 12 lakh per annum in this field. Next option is retail management. There are a growing number of supermarkets as well as online retail companies. These require trained professionals for smooth functioning. They are entrusted with the responsibility of accounting, marketing, stock procurement, budgeting and central management. Big chains like Big Bazaar, Reliance Trends, etc. need such professionals. The market is growing and so are the job opportunities. Export management is one of the widely expanding specialization in today's scenario, as export-import is an integral part of the international business. With India being a major global player, this management speciality is in high demand. The professionals in this field are concerned with costing, sourcing market research, frighting market, distribution, export finance, documentation and also foreign exchange. A strong grasp in the subject is the must. Also, you need to be aware of the recent developments in the export laws and regulations from around the world. As far as the pay packages of candidates in this field are concerned, these are really huge. Besides these generalized specializations, you can also go for industry-specific specialization like airport management. Airport may seem like a normal transport junction, but in fact, it requires a number of dedicated managerial staff. You may have noticed that an airport not only handles arrival and departure of passengers, but also of the cargo. And in case of international airports, there are separate counters for handling immigration. An airport's efficiency is measured by the speed in which all the processes get covered up, its safety and the passenger utilities. Airport management focuses on all these aspects, from foreseeing safe landing and takeoffs of the flights to the easy availability of the transport outside. Every aspect comes under this domain. You need to have the grit to handle the pressure 
and skilled to multitask with a professional degree like MBA in airport management to enter this field. You need to have the grit to handle the pressure and skill to multitask with a professional degree like MBA in airport management to enter the field. This is really challenging field with lots of scope as more and more airports are coming up in our country. Next in line is hotel management. India is at the forefront of the tourism boom and hotels are the prime necessity to sustain this boom. Hotel management involves a multi-dimensional management of restaurant services, room services, front desk operations, handling customers' demands and financial management. A hotel with bad management is hard to attract tourists. So the candidates with hotel management degree are in huge demand both in India and internationally. Another one is event management. India is home to the largest film industry in the world. Every day, lots of state shows are done by celebrities. Along with that, the local artists also perform, not to mention the big fat Indian weddings and numerous other functions. Event management professionals are invoked with planning, execution, marketing, safety and budgeting of such events. You need to have an in-depth knowledge of how to organize different events. The requirements of a fashion show are completely different from a cultural show. Also, the communication skills and ability to work with large workforces should be there. Next in line is hospitality management. As the middle class is getting richer, more tourists are coming to India and the living standard of people are rising. So is the need for trained hospitality management expert. The services that are offered to you when you go to a spa, restaurant, salon or any other such places come under hospitality management. From managing food and beverages for the guest to handling clients at the front desk, you need to deal it all. This career option is seeing a boom and is attracting a lot of international payers too. So the career prospects are bright and well paying too. The latest addition in the management field is sports management. Sports management is still a new career option. There are a lot of commercial sporting events taking place now in our country. IPL, Pro Kabaddi League and all such state level events require the planning and execution of trained professionals. From meeting the standard crowd requirements to managing the crowd, this field needs all skills. As an expert, you will be required to look after the requirements of players like a proper dressing room, proper availability of their food, accommodation and so on. Also, the security of the ground needs to be paid attention to. There are a few institutes that impart MBA sports management and other courses in this field. This is a lucrative career option, especially for sports enthusiasts. Next is rural management. India is a country of villages. A majority of its population resides in the villages and they are devoid of any technological advancement. Most of them are involved in agriculture and are poor. Rural management aims at empowering these people with the recent technological advancements. When newer methods and technologies are used in agricultural practices, it yields a higher return. Likewise, using the renewable and sustainable sources of energy like solar and wind energy allows the continuous power supply to villages, especially those in the areas where laying down of electrical wires is not feasible. There are numerous such accounts where innovations can be used and is for developing villages. All this comes under rural management. This field has always been at the center of Indian government's planning. Also, several NGOs are involved in these fields. Not only you get to show your innovative side, but also do something fruitful for the development of your nation. Next specific specialization is dairy technology and management. As we have mentioned earlier, the majority of Indian population is involved in agricultural practices. This involves dairy too. Now the cattle too need to be managed in a way in which it is profitable for the farmers. The local breeds do not yield that much milk. So the cross breeds were instituted. Also, the process of making milk products need proper management. All this comes under dairy management. This field holds lot of opportunities. So guys, 
These were some of the evergreen options in the field of management that you can choose from as your career path. I hope that the information given in this video will be of great help for you to select a career option in management. If you like this video, please press the thumb icon and for regular notification, subscribe Target Study YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. We will be back with such informative videos. Till then, stay healthy and stay safe.